Welcome to check splitting and formatting using lists. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, one of the absolute greatest thing about be, being here and, uh, and, and creating these videos for you guys is all the feedback I'm getting. Uh, whether you like it or you agree with me or you disagree, I, I, I love all the comments. So keep them coming and especially if you're a subscriber so hey go subscribe um but i also get a a lot of questions um and and some of them i have no <laughs> no chance to answer because i it, it's really hard to, sometimes to give context in 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 the youtube uh, comment some of them are in the uh hey eric can you Show me what I need to do in my job uh, to, to to do my job. Here is what the customer is asking, and typically I I don't try to cover topics like that. I, I I try to cover something that's a bit more generic, but I get a lot of generic questions. How do you do something in AL? Um, and today's video is also one based on one of those questions. Uh, sorry, I can't remember who actually asked this. Um, but the question is simple. I have a string with a lot of words, a lot of text, and I need to, you know, I need to break that down into multiple lines, but I want it to be broken down in a nice way. And, um, that can be done in several ways. Um, but I want to show a fun one. Uh, so I want to show how this can be done with lists, uh, um, and maybe we should just get started actually. So I have done the usual thing here. I have created a new extension, connected it to my, my Docker Business Central, and I have downloaded symbols. Um, and um, we need a text. Without a text, we can't really get anywhere. So let's, I, I wanna create a procedure called get text that just will return our text. So we have it sitting here. Uh, and the text I have found is this text. So we got uh, a fair amount of text here. Uh, this is actually the blurb from uh, the um, the Business Central Field Guide. This is the text that is on the Amazon listing. So if you need a book, you know where to, to get it. Now we will look at all the nice word I have written about myself here. Um, but let's say we want to break this down um, and we want to use a list for it. Um, so the first thing we can do is um, we can actually break this up into small chunks. Um, and uh, the small chunks would basically be words. So we can create a list of text. And um, we can say the words are equal. I want to get text dot split. So now I'm using the output of this one and I'm sending it into the split command and I'm splitting on spaces. So whenever there's a space in this one, I will separate that as um, uh, as separate separate entries in the list, um, we can we can just do something like that. Words get one. So I think this is a and actually let's put a breakpoint on this. So now we should get now from this, but we can we can take a look in the in the debugger how this looks. Uh, and apparently that started on a different screen. So let's put it up here and we got a break. So now we can see that words now updated for so one, two, three, four, five. So we suddenly we have the entire text broken down into 305 words. 
Excellent. Um, let's. Uh, this is this is weird. I see now because of the debugger, we get now three times. I have never understood how that works. That on open page it gets called multiple times if you're on the debugger. But that's what's happened. Okay, so now we have words. Uh, let's uh, let's think about that. So let's create another list. Let's call it lines. Um, and let's have a word pointer. So we need to keep track of where we are in the word list. Um, and maybe we need a line counter also. So line, let's call it line pointer also. Wow, integer, that was tough. Um, so clearly we start at line one. That's a good place to start. Um, so we could do for word pointer equal one, two, words dot uh, count do begin and then we could say that let's we could build a line so build a line uh, build, build a bear build a line um, we could have used this maybe we should do that Let's call it builder and then create a use that use a text builder for that. Since we're going to use it in the in inside a loop here, um, we should probably no, actually, no, no, no. Hang on. I'll, I'll get back to that thought in a minute. Um, so we could say builder dot append and now we want to append the word we have in a word pointer um, we but we might actually say builder if builder dot length is more than zero so there's already a word here we have to append a space because the split command removed all the spaces. So we need to put the spaces back in. And then we add the word. And now we can say, okay, hmm, if builder dot length is more than let's say 80 character then we do not want to put any anything more on this so we have put whole words on 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 this line now so we don't want to put any more we want to create the next line so now we can go and say um lines dot add we might not even need the line pointer but let's see see about that lines dot add Builder, uh, I can't remember if there's an overload to text. There is. Um, and now, the, the thing I, I said before is that now we need to clear Builder so we don't append one big line. Um, and then we could go say message percent one backslash percent two backslash percent three and do lines get one lines get two lines get three and we'll have a look at it in the so right now we're actually not using the line point at all so let's get rid of that i thought we weren't going to need that one but maybe not uh Hang on, let's try this out. 
Here goes nothing. If you're yelling at the screen right now, uh, I can't hear you. So if I made some horrible mistake, we will find out in a second. Well, it compiled. And we got our friendly breakpoint. Um, so let's look at lines. Now, space updated space for the 2022 wave two release a companion book for implementing implementing Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central target end user target that end users blah blah blah. And and it looks like that we have a a pretty pretty nice break here. So you see, customization was long words so that went over the 80 um but but all in all our text has been so i see a problem now you and and fair enough let's uh if you don't see the problem right now i will give you a chance in a second to uh so we have the three lines that is all good so what is the problem do you see the problem I see the problem. The problem is that the last builder we fill up is never flushed into the lines. So when we're done here, we have to go ask if builder.length is greater than zero because we might just on the very last word do this. So as long as it's bigger than zero, then let's add the builder one last time to lines. I'll stop the debugger, I'll restart the debugger. And I will go back to the debugger and let's look at lines again. Let's see what happens if we go down here instead and do lines and then we open this up now it looks better now we got 22 lines and we see the last one is shorter because it we, it did not reach the the whole uh 80 characters one thing that we are missing in business central i, I actually look for that before i i I start this video is we had so the problem now we're just doing characters uh but w's are wider than an i so depending on the letters this might not be as smooth a a width at, as you would like um but as far as i can see uh there's no so one step back um Windows has a function where you can kind of you can render a text to a to memory buffer with a specific font and then you can measure the actual length. Uh, but I haven't seen that function anywhere in, in a .NET library exposed. I was thinking perhaps it was in some check uh, magnetic strip line size calculation, but but no. But if you had access to something like that, then instead of counting characters, we will measure the actual width of the text uh, to make it even even nicer. Um, another thing that we haven't really done here is if there are actual line breaks in our text, so we want to preserve those line breaks, then we would, we would pl place an outer, uh, outer loop on this. So if we had line breaks here, we would actually start by uh, I, can, I can simulate that we could do input lines still list of text so we are still doing all this but then we would we would uh, say input lines equal get text uh, dot split and then we would have a, a line feed uh, constant to, to split that and then we would loop all the input lines and and use input line whoa input lines 
to do this. So so we get the same thing we have down here that if there is an actual line break in the text, that will still be a line break. So same principle, we'll just add an outer loop. Let me undo this. So just that's uh, undo, 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 undo. That's one way to split a text. There's tons of other ways. You, know, you can, you know, you 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 count the I count ahead to the place, and then you go backwards until you find the space, and then you split the string and all that. But I kind of like the list gymnastics. Is it's very um, it's actually very readable and what what's happening, and 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 you don't you you're not pushing single characters. You're just uh, juggling words instead. Anyway, that is. One of the questions that came in uh, through the comments, and uh, if you got a question, you know where to ask them. But you no, know, please be a subscriber before you ask. And if you need more ale hacking, check out this video. It's a good one. I'll see you there.